Oh my God, the reaction to season one, while it was surprising to others, I will say, and not to call myself a sage or anything, but um, I expected the response. I feel as though this world um, felt so secretive, but yet that there was a lot of people who knew about Black strip club culture and knew that it was an important and valid culture. And so I felt like if a show got out in the world that celebrated it, um, celebrated these super heroes, um, that it would be embraced um, like cotton candy, <laughs> that people would just eat it up. And um, lo and behold, I was I was right. And it's so funny because I used to joke uh, with the executives. I'm like, oh, we're going right, to it's going to be like 10 to 20 million per episode. And they were like, ha, 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 ha. this girl is crazy. Um, and so we learned that I wasn't crazy, uh, which I'm very happy that um, I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next question. After a successful debut season, um, a second season brings new pressure to deliver. Mm -hmm. How did you find the pressure of the second season? And do you prefer the pressure of the second season or the pressure or the pressure of an original premiere season? I must say for season two, I am just grateful to be here <laughs> because it was such a long haul. You know, I went around LA pitching this show and there were some networks who wouldn't even let me in through the door. And so stars was like the only yes that I got, but I have learned that all you need is one yes. And so, you know, for season one, the fact that I almost didn't get an opportunity to do that. I didn't care about pressure. I just wanted to play. And I knew that the story was important and I knew that the characters were special. And so I was just like, I had so much fun the first season. Um, I would say the second season, there wasn't really any pressure to perform or outdo myself from season one because I just knew that I wanted to be better. I knew that I wanted to be a better writer. I knew that I wanted to be a better producer. And so I was like, that was my goal. I just need to be better. And that's the only thing I need to achieve because you cannot focus on how people are going to take something. Um, it's out of your control, but the thing that I could control was I could be a better writer. And I feel as though with my writer's room, we really figured out a way to um, improve upon what we did last season. So I will say, um, you know, the pressure is going to be what it is. The biggest pressure, I think, for season two was the fact that we had to do it during COVID. The fact that we had challenge after challenge of ducking and dodging the, the virus uh, on set and, and, and just during production, um, that was where the pressure was coming from. And it, it, it elongated the process in ways that um, our Pink Posse did not uh, like. <laughs> but we're here, we're back, we're coming to you very, very soon. Did you always have a plan for what you were gonna do in season two? I used to know what season two was going to be um, pre-pandemic. You know, it was really about pulling the story threads that we laid out for season one. But lo and behold, when the, the world kind of shut down and everything went black, I just decided I have to be inspired by what is happening right now. And so I pivoted um, uh, quite brutally <laughs> um, to the left and to the right in terms of um, the, the story that I wanted to tell. It shifted probably by 90%. Which character is your favorite to write for and which character's journey has been the most rewarding? Oh my God, I don't know if I can answer that question. Which character is, is my favorite to write for? Ooh. I will say it's not my favorite character to write for, but my, my I'll answer this. My favorite relationship to write for is the relationship between Uncle Clifford and LaMurda. And I think it's because it's so unexpected to have that at the core uh, of our show. Um, everyone loves Uncle Clifford, you know, the momager of the pank. And the fact that this you know, this trapper rapper <laughs> is you know sniffing around and 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 possibly 
maybe being the love of her life. I think it's just a super intriguing. And I'm a person who loves romance. I love it. I love a good romance comedy. I love a good romance. Um, and the fact that, you know, as two queer people, they're trying to figure out how to be in love in the open in the American South. And I think the stakes are really, really high. And so I think that's why I love writing uh, that relationship and those two characters um, in particular, just because um, I, I think we're all rooting for, for them. I think people who even are low-key homophobic are still rooting for Uncle Clifford and the murder to get together. You have a very fevered fan base that wants to know everything all at once. How have you navigated the world of spoilers in, in social media? It's interesting. I actually took a year off <laughs> from social media because I knew that my fan base <laughs> is so fervent. So yes, they're, they're very dedicated, very passionate. Pink Posse, we love you. But sometimes I'll be doing too much. Um, they do want to know everything all the time. And so, you know, in terms of spoilers, we just try really hard to keep a lock on set. You know, it's interesting. We actually need a lot of people to come on set to be extras because you know the pink has to be crunk and popping all the time and so I'm always scared that one of our extras is going to be like you know downloading video of somebody on set onto the internet but you know fingers crossed you know that hasn't happened yet <laughs> what can fans expect from season two I think fans can expect from season two a deeper and darker ride. I feel as though we fell in love with this world and these characters season one, um, but we didn't really know, know them. And in season two, we get an opportunity to go home with them and quite frankly, to get inside of their hearts a little bit more, which I think will make folks love our characters even more. And so I, I'm really excited about season two. I think it's better. It's some of the, I'll say this, I think it's some of the best writing I've ever gotten an opportunity to do. Like really, really proud of the stories that we told and the way that we told them. There's certain scenes that I'm just like, oh my God, I'll never write anything better than this. And so I'm just so really glad that I got the opportunity to do so. Okay. Finally, here's hoping for season three. Do you have plans should the opportunity arise? I always got a plan, but I have learned to be flexible. If anything, the pandemic then taught me is that sometimes you have to learn how to dream new dreams. And um, if something happens, you know, maybe the aliens will come in the next few months. Uh, so then maybe we'll have, you know, the pink on Mars in season three. You just never know. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.